We're late because this is the second attempt. Yeah, here we go again. The battery ran out on the laptop. We had <laughs> we hadn't plugged it in. So uh, start again. Yeah, we are both of us <laughs> a little low on juice here. I'm not low um, on juice. Just you. No, just me. Okay. Just, just me. be that. Just that. So that's clear. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start we're going to start with the hymn again because we want the whole video to be there cuz most of the people who see this don't see it live so number 831 thanks for bearing with us maybe we can do better this time hmm, How shall they hear who have not heard News of our Lord who loved and came, nor known his reconciling word, nor learned to trust the Savior's name. To all the world, to every place, neighbors and friends and far off lands, preach the good news of saving grace. Go while the great commission stands. Who shall I send? Who hears the call? Constant in prayer through toil and pain. Telling of one who died for all. To bring a lost world home again. Lord, here am I, your fire in part, to this for cause of sin's atonement. Touch but my lips, my hands, my heart, turn to covers for Christ my goal. Spirit of love within us move, spirit of truth in power come down. So shall they hear and find and prove Christ is their life, their joy, their crown. Today's reading is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, beginning at verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord, which I am commanding you today for your good. Behold, to the Lord your God belong heaven and the heaven of heavens, the earth with all that is in it. Yet the Lord set his heart in love on your fathers and chose their offspring after them, you above all peoples, as you are this day. Circumcise, therefore, the foreskin of your heart, and be no longer stubborn. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and awesome God, who is not partial and takes no bribe. He executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the sojourner, giving him food and clothing. Love the sojourner, therefore, for you were sojourners in the land of Egypt. What are the big things? And what are the small things? That is always a difficult but very important question. You know, um, uh, so I had a root canal last Thursday. The doctor that does a root canal is called an uh, I endodontist. endodontist. If I, could, I just looked it up this morning just to check. It's interesting. Endo. What do you think endodontist means? Endo. The roots. Just the yeah. It's just the the ends. Just the tips. That's that's it. He's the doctor of of roots. Where else do you have? I guess you have your hair has roots, but that's not what he's about. What else do you have? Roots. I mean, it's just these, a whole doctor, an entire career built around just the little, those little, and when you see them on the x-rays, they're just, they go down to like a little thread. It's just this dinky little channel in there, in your tooth. 
It holds it. That's his whole. That's his whole career. <laughs> and of course, it's so insignificant, right? Until <laughs> so I was at the dentist, and they did a routine X-ray as part of the tooth cleaning, and they said, "Oh, there's a little shadow, right? Just like this teeny, teeny little shadow. What is that? Gonna send you to this guy." Oh, for pity's sake, it's just a little shadow, right? Oh, look, well, look at that. <laughs> There's a little crack running up that truth, and we're going to get in there. We're going to go down in there. We're going to, you know. Well, and that stirred up and made that little shadow angry. It, it made it angry. And, and let me tell you, the consequences of that <laughs> are all out of proportion to... The size of the thing. <laughs> What's what are the big things, and what are the small things? So the Israelites, a nation, right? And they're in big, you know, movements. We're going to go from Egypt, and God's going to deliver us. And there's the Passover, and there's the plagues, and there's the Ten Commandments, and you know, and, uh, God on a mountaintop. And then the law, God tells them, you fear the Lord your God, walk in all his ways, keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord. But when it, when it talks about where God's heart is, what is the, what's the root here of God's work? His, it's the Lord set his heart in love on your fathers and chose their offspring after them God's God's love is is on you it's about you and and not only you but also he executes justice for the fatherless and the widow he loves the sojourner the stranger giving him food and clothing love the sojourner therefore for you are sojourners ah uh, You are to remember to care for those who are strangers. Not only strangers to you, but strangers to God because He loves them. We've talked about the Holy Spirit and renewal in our lives and taking us through death and into new life and new life every day. We talked about the Holy Spirit equipping us, empowering us for spiritual warfare, you know. And we talked about the Holy Spirit filling us up. But the Holy Spirit isn't just about working in us. The Holy Spirit is not just about blessing us, and filling us. And the Holy Spirit is about reaching those that the Lord loves as he loves you. If you pray for God to love you, then you need, you must recognize He loves all these others also. And He desires them to come to Him. This is God's heart. I can tell you when the, when just that tiniest little part that you never, you don't brush them, you don't brush the roots, right? You don't, you don't have to do anything with them. They're just there until they're upset. <laughs> They are insignificant, but when they are upset, they are so significant. God's heart hurts for those who do not know him. I did not get much sleep last night or the night before that. Your Heavenly Father is sleepless because of those who are far from him. And you are his plan to get down in there and reach them. You are here among those who do not know the Lord. We bring to them healing and restoration and life through the same Holy Spirit. The Spirit that gave you life 
the spirit that fills you up, the spirit that enables you to be strong in spiritual warfare in the world, the, the spirit that, that took you down into the death of Christ in your baptism and brought you up into life in Christ in your baptism and his resurrection. That is the spirit that desires to use you for your life also to be troubled. Troubled when something's wrong, when there's someone who is not connected to the Lord. And to pray for them and to speak and to show, and to lead, to restore them. Amen. Let's pray. I want to give thanks today because uh, Pastor Chris Troxell has accepted the call from the University of Lutheran Chapel to be the church planter uh, that will be working out of out of St. Paul downtown. And we pray to work with them in planting a new congregation, in reaching the lost. Nothing could be more important than that. Let's pray. Come, Holy Spirit. Give us the eyes of God's compassion for a chosen people who were once vulnerable aliens in Egypt. Move our hearts to embody in our lives Christ's own loving care for foreigners. Generous Spirit, gently push us out of our comfort zones. Bring us into the lives of people who look different from us, speak with strange accents, or come from different cultures. Mold us to practice hospitality in a world filled with people looking for friendship, belonging, and welcoming arms. Father, we pray. Bless Pastor Troxell and his wife and his family. Bless the plans that they will make. Uh, bless the members of our congregation and of University of Lutheran Chapel that will partner with them, labor with them. Most especially, Lord, bless those whom we do not know, who seem far away and insignificant to us. They, they are residents in homes and apartments and so on around the church downtown. We're unaware of them, but you are painfully aware. Lord, open their ears, open their hearts. Grant that they may be prepared to hear your word and to respond to it by the power of your Holy Spirit. That they may join us at your table and be welcome in your house forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray it. Amen. Amen. Maybe be seeing you tonight at the congregation meeting. And uh, please keep that in your prayer if you're not able to be there. And <sighs> pray for my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. No, we didn't get that again. That? that means we don't have a, a way to close out the video unless we... Uh, so we have to awkwardly... Yeah. That says live video starting. Maybe it'll give us an end button. <laughs> Computers. You can, you can quit. Bye. <laughs> uh, it's like outtakes.